Hi everyone, News uh, Mobile is live now. Our uh, team has reached Pragati Maidan, Bharat Mandapam, and um, we will be having uh, our uh, senior editor Rabhi Dragav with us, and also we'll be joined uh, by. He will be with us in a while and we'll be talking about G20 summit, what are the preparations at Bharat Mandapam, which I am sure all our viewers are equally excited to see. Hi, Abhit, how are you? Hi, 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 Kanchan. Yeah. So, Abhit, as you all can see, uh, he's uh, with us as a senior editor and you keep on seeing his stories and his views, his analysis as well. Uh, Abhit has reached Pragati Maidan. You can see the background of Bharat Mandapam right uh, after yeah. him. Uh, Abhit, I wanted to know uh, when you started from your home, how are the roads uh, on Delhi today? What are the security? What are the precautions taken on each and every level? Yeah, Kanjan. So, so you know, uh, uh, the security arrangement and the restrictions are the much talked uh, you know, thing about uh, you know, in the recent passes, uh, at least in Delhi NCR. And uh, the thing is, like, you know, all on in place security arrangements are like you know top notch which are very valid right? uh, because uh, so many dignities are coming in from across the globe from around the globe they, they are coming in and security is extremely extremely important thing which uh, has to be taken care of and for that uh, there are several restrictions in place um uh, so hi. Uh, when hi. i was Sorry coming was also joined us he is so when uh, i was coming, yeah, when I was coming reporter yeah. I will go back to on Saurabh as well, but Abhid, uh, please finish. How how are the arrangements yeah. there? How is the security uh, yeah. deployed? So, so I have was, heard so one lakh thirty thousand security personnel are on field who are looking after the security of G20 delegates. The officials are making sure that everything is before the summit begins. As you can see behind me, the summit venue, which is Bharat Mandapam, which is uh, like, you know, top notch, and everyone is looking forward to that glimpse of the. Uh, and uh, so far, it is all. Packed. Everything looks in place, and Ali seems all set to host uh, all the G20 in uh, you know, next two days. Uh, as far as this concern, uh, we have information that uh, President Joe Biden is expected to land in New Delhi at around 7 p.m. Uh, and more other dignities like Rishi Suna, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, everyone will be here, and that's the spot. That's the spot where everyone will be gather together and discuss and uh, you know raise the issues for the future back to you Kanshan, yeah. so also also to our viewers we will show you how the bharat mandapam is entirely decorated and ready uh, for the welcoming of g20 delegates uh, and uh, many other countries who are uh, uh, joining us uh, Saurabh, how is your experience good to see you at bharat mandapam how is the feel i can see the smile on your face and all that excitement to be there. How are you planning to have your day? Uh, what are your expectations? How was your experience on security level when you started from your place to reach at Pragati Maidan? Yeah, so uh, I started from, uh, like, I took a metro till the uh, Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium. And I saw that it, uh, there was less people from what it was, uh, it used to be in metro, metros usually. And we also saw th uh, that, uh, Several roads were blocked uh, when I was traveling through uh, till the bus service, and we saw that a lot of uh, checkings were done. And after, as we were coming here through the shuttle service, we also saw that a lot of decoration has been done. We saw that fountains have, uh, you know, have been, and a lot of statues have also been placed uh, throughout the place. Okay, all right.
Saurabh, uh, Abhit is showing us a picture of Bharat Mandapam that we can see right now. Uh, oh. The delegates have uh, been arriving in Delhi. We have been, News Mobile has been doing a big mega coverage on this. Anytime uh, uh, Rishi Sunak will also arrive and then Emmanuel Macro will arrive. 7, 7.30 is the time for US President Joe Biden. There are bilateral talks. Pia Modi will also uh, meet uh, Sheikh uh, Hasina uh, of Bangladesh today. Uh, there are many priorities which, in, which has been set uh, by the government, uh, sort of. There are many things that needs to be talked. Also, would I like to give our viewers a view that Abhit is showing us right now the entire area of Bharat Mandapam that you can see in this video, uh, where people will uh, have already started reaching there. How is the security, Abhit, uh, at the spot where you are right now? How, what were the security features that you saw there? I think you are on mute. I can't hear you, Abit. Yeah. So yeah. I can I can tell you one, one thing for sure that uh, you know it is not open for public. Uh, special permission, special access is required to be in the vicinity of the area. In fact, uh, in and uh, not only in the in the Bharat Mandapam, but in and around the area in the NDMC area, not everyone is allowed right now because of the security arrangement and uh, security protocols uh, in place. So, uh, view uh, like you know our viewers. Uh, in fact, we had a question also like you know how can we see the summit live? And I I must say say like you know uh, please follow Newswell's continuous uh, continuous coverage from ground. Uh, you will get get a glance of. Uh, the summit uh, for sure and what these leaders are discussing uh, in addi addition to that you will get uh, in-depth analysis and simplified version by a range of guests and our editorial uh, teams uh, and as far as the security arrangements are concerned uh, function and uh, you know the the mood over here right now it's not open for everyone uh, it's just the security personnel media personnel and delegates who are currently at the bath mandapam we are currently at the newly built uh, international media center which is uh, like no state of the art uh, infrastructure as, as we were just there uh, just a while back and it's it's completely uh, you know uncanny and uh, i would say like you know it's the the, the definition of new india that the, the kind of india which we looking for in the coming days and this is the india which the whole world is looking uh, towards with, with the great expectations of uh, all right, right, all right, Saurabh, uh, there have been many exhibitions that are organized today. I'm sure once you enter, uh, once you get the access, we'll show the images. But tell me the vibe of the area that you are right now. What is the excitement in the people, in the media persons, those who are reaching there? I can see a lot of people at your back entering and exiting from the gate with their tripod stands and camera and mic IDs. What is the vibe? How excited? Even the journalists today are very excited to be a part of such a, a mega international uh, event. That's it. It's not less than an event that's happening today. So how is the vibe uh, where you are right now? Yeah, so, so we are standing right outside this uh, international media center behind my back as you can see. So all the media personnel have been uh, are coming here to like, and you can see that they are all with uh, cameras and with microphones going live from here, talking about the event because this is a very significant event. G20, India taking over G20, and you can see that media from all over the world is here. You can I even saw from some foreign uh, media channels who were reporting from here, live from here. So we can see all the kinds of media over reporting for you. So that just give a just gives a feel like you know it's a very important event that is happening here. Definitely, Abhit, I can see uh, uh, the way we have all planned up uh, this entire event to cover. Uh, keep sending us visuals, keep sending us Absolutely. images. Also, we'll go live again once you enter after the briefing uh, from the media center. Stay updated uh, with News Mobile for more such updates. Abhit and Saurabh from Ground will do uh, ground reporting for News Mobile. Stay tuned to News Mobile. Thank you, both of you. Thank you, and keep watching News Mobile. Thanks.